<laughs> Netflix. I tales of your kind, Witcher. Ah, the Witcher, Witcher series. So this has got the guy who played Superman playing the Witcher. Let's see what he looks like. Uh -huh. Created by magic. And his voice, is it as good as Doug's? <laughs> yeah. We don't want your kind here. Hunting monsters. Price. That kind of looks right. I thought you'd have fangs or horns or something. I had them filed down. I want to be there. People call you a monster too. Ah, uh, he seems to fit. Why not kill them? Because then I am what they say I am. All of our choices draw our destinies closer. Uh, I don't know, I'll suck my dick and see if I can feel it. It's the truest test. I test Fraser every day. <laughs> I'm very emotional. <laughs> Gotta That's suck awesome. that emotion out. <laughs> this looks like it's got a decent budget, too. Yeah. If you dismiss it, you will unleash true calamity upon us all. I'll take that chance. Whoa, why did he get so gray, dude? <laughs> what? Uh <laughs> What do you guys think? I think he looks pretty good until he shows too much emotion on his face. Yeah. Like, it, every so often he's like got this like sort of like he goes like this with his eyes and he looks like what? he's kind of hurt like uh, or like right. like pain showing pain inside emotional pain or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like one of the things I like about The Witcher in the game series is that he's just like fucking dead face all the time. He's just like. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to kill this guy or something. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what he says, but you know, one of those famous Witcher quotes, like "I'm the Witcher." But uh, that's what I like is that when he does show emotion, just the, these rare little flashes of emotion, it's super weighted because he barely ever re flinches mm. towards things. Right. Um, this is Baby Geralt. Remember? Maybe because he's Baby Geralt, he hasn't gotten as hardened yet. Maybe that's so. And it's supposed to draw heavily from the book instead of the game, so we shall see. I wonder what the book guy who made the book thinks about it, since sometimes mm. I've heard that he hated the games. Mm, yeah, that's interesting. I wonder. I wonder if he helped with the series at all. But I think he didn't dislike the games because he thinks the games were bad. I think he mainly is just bitter about if he did ever say that the games suck... He's probably just bitter because he's not getting enough royalties. Because mm, yeah. he sold away his rights too easily. Maybe. And he sued CD Projekt Red to get better ones, even though he, like, it was his decision. But guy hates the games because he screwed himself out of money. Yeah, he screwed himself out of money because he literally, he admitted that he thought the game would be a failure, so he gave it to them cheap. Because he's like, well, video games suck, so go ahead. Mm. <laughs> just, I'll take that little tiny paycheck and go get fucking wasted. Was it $5,000? <laughs> Was it actually $5,000? It's incredible. That would be insane. Anywho. Woo. 